Right, so uh, we're gonna move on to another topic dito sa ating CCNA Masterclass. And on this section or on this module, ang pag-uusapan naman natin is about hot standby router protocol or hot standby routing protocol or what we call HSRP. Okay, so ang goal natin for this section or for this module is to learn and understand the fundamentals as well as, as usual as... Uh, We always do dito sa ating CCNA Masterclass para talagang mapatibay natin yung pundasyon natin. And then we're gonna talk about some of the technologies or some of the terminologies or mga bagay na kailangan natin malaman na related sa HSRP like HSRP messages, HSRP states, HSRP virtual MAC address, HSRP interface tracking, And then of course, we're gonna do some configuration ng HSRP para makita natin how we are going to deploy and implement HSRP as well as some basic troubleshooting kung ano yung mga pwede natin gawin in case uh, magkakaproblema or maka-encounter tayo ng issue or para ma-prevent ma ma natin yung mga issue na ma pwedeng mangyari when we are deploying or configuring HSRP. Alright? So, are you ready for this? Let's go ahead and start. Okay, so um, kapag sinabi natin HSRP, uh, tinatawag natin yung HSRP but that's just basically the abbreviation of um, Hot Standby Routing Protocol. So isa to sa mga first half redundancy protocol. Okay, FHRP or first half redundancy protocol na ginagamit natin in the network infrastructure. Sikat na sikat siya uh, because of course sa isang mature or sa isang enterprise or sa isang organizations lalo na sa mga critical organizations like banks, BPOs and other um, critical organizations or enterprise it's always a mass or we, we what do you call this kailangan natin lagi ng redundancy or backup path that's why yung mga first half redundancy protocol kagaya ng HSRP is sikat na sikat Okay, so HSRP is a Cisco proprietary protocol, meaning it is intended to work for uh, Cisco devices. Okay, so hindi siya gagana sa HP, hindi siya gagana sa ibang devices because it is uh, Cisco proprietary, kagaya ng ibang mga protocol na pinag-usapan natin, like for example, EIGRP, although inopen na siya for, for public, kaya lang limited pa rin yung functionality and other Uh, Cisco proprietary protocol ginawa nila for their Cisco or for their own devices we're good? now alisin ko pala, liitan ko yung mukha ko para makita mo yung buong screen ayun, okay so now let's continue okay so ang HSRP is using a technology or a terminology which is what we called active standby okay so meron tayong tinatawag na active And then, meron din tayong tinatawag na standby. So, ano yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Let me provide you a simple illustration. So, as you can see on your screen right now, we have an active uh, router or a multi-layer switch and then a standby multi-layer switch. And they have their own separate IP addresses. Okay, so si active natin here uses 192.168.1.1 and then si standby natin is using 192.168.1.2. But in HSRP, the way they works is they are grouped together as virtually one. Okay, so basically this one is working as one. Because in HSRP, they are being grouped. Okay, so malinaw ba yung sulat ko? Okay, so in HSRP, we have a virtual group na tinatawag or HSRP group na ginagawa natin wherein we group those routers, physical routers or virtual routers if you may, kung saan... Uh, ginagroup natin sila and they are using a virtual IP address. So, ibig sabihin yung active natin, yung standby natin, although they are separate or two devices or three if you may, um, or uh, uh, pwedeng multiple devices, and they, are, they have their own IP addresses, they are using a single virtual IP address. So, paano ko ba siya isasulat? <laughs> virtual IP address. So, virtual... Uh, IP. Okay, so ibig sabihin yung group nila is using a virtual IP. Let's take for example uh, yun na nga yun, HSRP group. So yun na yan, ginroup natin. Let's say for example, this is group 1. Okay, group 1 for example. HSRP group 1 and then sabi ko nga they are using a virtual 
IP address. So for this one, for example, yung SSRP group 1 natin is in-assign natin ng 192.168.1.10. Okay? So take note again ha, dun sa loob ng group 1 na yun, we have two routers. Yung 192.168.1.1 which is act acting as the active router and then yung standby router natin ng 192.168.1.2. Pero... The way it works is yung mga nasa baba nating uh, network devices or other devices or yung part ng local area network natin, for example, they are only communicating with the virtual IP address. Make sense? So, you're seeing this kung saan ito papunta? Ibig sabihin, yung mga local area network natin or yung other devices down the HSRP group are only seeing the device as one. Okay, yung group lang na yun. Kasi they are talking to one IP address alone. Actually, they are also talking to one MAC address. We're gonna talk about the virtual MAC address later on on this section. Pero what I want you to pick up is that in HSRP, kahit may tatlo kang router o sabihin mong apat, kung part sila ng isang group, sabihin nating HSRP group 1, meron lang isang virtual IP yung group na yun. And then, yung local area network mo, which is... Going down below, for example, ng HSRP group mo, they are only talking to that virtual IP address. Malinaw? Make sense na? Okay, so ibig sabihin, even if you have three or at least two or three or four active, I mean, uh, devices in that HSRP group, isang la, isa lang yung IP addresses nila. And then, the way it works is, we have a active router that is actively forwarding the traffic. Okay, for example, as you can see on your screen right now, we have an active router, okay? So, ibig sabihin, itong, itong mga LAN natin, ito yung local area network natin, for example, they are talking to this IP address. Okay, so 192.168.1.10. And then, sa loob ng 192.168.1.10 na yun, kasi it's a group 1 of devices eh, nung HSRP group natin. Meron tayong several or sabi nating dalawa or multiple group of devices pero ang nagpo-forward lang talaga ng traffic is yung active device or active router natin or in this case multi-layer switch which is um 192.168.1.1 Itong mga devices natin dito sa ilalim or sa baba ng local area network natin hindi na nila alam yon na marami pa lang devices dun sa loob ng HSRP group na yun. Basta ang alam nila, if I, for example, if I want to go out with this network, I need to forward this traffic to my local gateway, which is 192.168.1.10. Okay? And then dun sa loob ng 192.168.1.10 na yun, dun na nangyayari yung HSRP uh, protocol natin. Kung saan, meron talaga tayong designated na isang device na nagpo-forward ng traffic. Yun yung active router natin na tinatawag or active device. Okay? Malinaw, just in case, for example, mag-down yung active natin, for example, nawala ng kuryente. <laughs> anyway, for example, namatay yung device na yun, nagloko. Um, uh, for example, nag yung interface. Papalo yung standby device natin and then siya yung magpo-forward ng traffic. Papunta dun sa uplinks or upstream, anywhere na configured sa network natin. Hindi na nalalaman ng mga devices natin sa local area network natin or down below na may nangyari palang uh, disconnection kumbaga dun sa HSRP group kasi nga they are only talking to the virtual IP ng HSRP group so kumbaga they are thinking na isa lang naman yun eh kasi 1.10 lang yun eh pero inside that group we have several devices and then kung sino yung active within that group yun yung nagpo-forward ng traffic you getting this? good okay so Paano natin ma-distinguish, paano natin malalaman kung sino yung active at saka kung sino yung standby within our HSRP group? Kasi nga sabi natin, we can have at least two, three or multiple devices within our HSRP group. ba Ngayon, paano natin malalaman sino yung active na nagpo-forward ng traffic na yun? Good question. Ang sagot dyan is, uh, basically, we do that with, sino yun? What we call priority. Okay, so yung mga uh, HSRP devices natin na member ng group na yun, we assign a priority. Okay, kung wala man is by default, magkakaroon sila ng default priority na 100. And then if, for example, we assign 
uh, a higher than 100, yun yung magiging active device. Kasi ang default niya is 100, now pag tinaasan mo, kasi kung sinong mas mataas, yun yung mananalo as the active router or active device within that HSRP group. Make sense? Right, so now you understand kung paano nangyari. Okay, so uh, I'd like to, to, to simplify this, uh, I mean, things or this concept for you. Okay, so burahin ko yung mga pinagsusulat ko para talagang malinaw. Okay, yan. Burahin natin ha. Uh, yan. Okay, so now, mas malinis na yung screen natin. Okay, so dito meron tayong dalawang router. Okay, sa ating HSRP group. Sabihin na natin, okay, ulitin ko ulit. Sabihin natin, this is our HSRP uh, group, group 1. Okay, and then as you can see, we have two routers or two multi-layers which inside that group. Pero yung mga devices natin, they are only talking to the virtual IP of that HSRP group, which is 192.168.1.10. Now, sabi natin, yung active router, doon sa HSRP group, yun yung nagpo-forward ng traffic. Ibig sabihin, since si 1.1 yung active natin, siya talaga yung nagpo-forward ng traffic. For example, papunta doon sa upstream or doon sa uplink o kung saan man doon sa network natin. Basta lahat ng traffic, sa kanya pumapasok talaga, hindi siya yung nagpo-forward. Pero itong mga to, wala na silang alam doon. Basta pinu-forward lang nila sa 192.168.1.10. We're clear with this. Now, kaya naging active si 192.168.1.1 is that mas mataas ang kanyang priority kaysa dito. Ibig sabihin, pagpalagay na natin na ang priority nito is one, priority niya is 120 and then ipagpalagay natin na ang priority nito, priority nito is it's using the default. Okay? So, ibig sabihin 100. That's why si 192.168.1.1 was chosen or was umbaga, designated as the active router in that HSRP group kasi mas mataas yung priority niya. Right? So, how do we do that? Mamaya, mas makikita mo pa in the configuration. Pero, we go in the interface of that device. We set up the HSRP. And then, we configure the priority na mas mataas sa default. So, mas mataas, uh, ikaw yung mas mananalo na active router or active device within your HSRP group. Take note na we can have multiple HSRP group within our network. Pwede sila mag-overlap. For example, yung Yung router na yun, pwedeng maging part ng dalawang HSRP group na magkahiwalay. Ngayon, kung sino yung may mataas na priority within that group, within a specific group, siya yung magiging active for that group lang. Make sense? Right, so I guess, I mean, um, for now, I, I'm sure na medyo nako-confuse ka pa, pero basically, ang pinaka-concept lang talaga ng HSRP is we group the router or we group the multi-layer switch or we group the device para mas madali and then sa loob ng group na yun meron tayong multiple devices okay and then yung group na yun merong specific virtual IP address like this one dun na nakikipag-usap yung mga devices natin so as you can see here uh, I'm using black right now so, dyan lang nakikipag-usap yung mga devices natin down below. Hindi nila alam na marami palang member ng HSRP group. And then, ang nagpo-forward lang ng traffic is yung our active device, which has the highest priority on those devices na member ng group na yun. Okay? And then, last thing before we end this lesson, I hope you're picking up the concept or the fundamentals of HSRP. Um, HSRP uses the, the, the technique or the strategy or the technology called preemption. Ibig sabihin, um, pag, pag namatay yung, or pag may nangyari dun sa interface ng active router or active device natin, automatic preempt yun, papalo dun sa standby niya, siya naman yung move forward ng traffic. Okay, so, uh, later on on this module or on this section, we're gonna do some configuration or example ng HSRP para makita mo siya in action. Papatayin natin yung active router natin or active device para makita mo na papalo siya doon. And then below, yung mga network devices natin down our local area network, wala silang kaalam-alam na may nangyayaring ganun sa taas nila. You get my point, di ba? So parang think of it like, um, ano yung magandang example? Think of it like, uh, sa isang, hmm, kaya ba magandang example? For example, uh, sa isang aeroplano, di ba? So, 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 yung mga pasahero ng isang aeroplano natin, 
they're, they're not seeing the pilot. Diba? So, <laughs> hindi nila alam, nagpapalitan na pala yung mga pilot because yung main pilot or yung pinaka-captain pilot natin had to make some rest while we are on the auto, I mean, auto mode na. Doon kasi malayo yung biyahe ng aeroplano and then straight line lang naman so naka-auto mode siya, nagpalit. Pero the, the, the passengers of the airplane doesn't even know na may ganun palang nangyayari. So it's almost the same thing with HSRP. Yung example na yun comes directly out of the blue. Okay, pero I hope you're getting the point how HSRP behave or how HSRP fundament, fundamentally works. Okay, so we have group of routers or devices and then we're using one single virtual IP address. Actually, we're also using one virtual MAC address. Pag-uusapan natin mamaya within that group. And then inside that group, meron tayong multiple devices. Tapos depending on their priority, doon natin nalalaman kung sino talaga yung active device na nagfo-forward talaga ng mga traffic. Good? Ayos. Okay, so that's the end of our discussion dito sa introduction ng HSRP. In the next video, we're gonna talk about some other technologies or terminologies na may kinalaman sa HSRP. Alright, sorry. So, I'm gonna cut this video here. I'll see you on the next one.